Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now today what I'm going to be bringing you is season 6 episode 22 of City Signings. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and 80 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers. So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Don't forget as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on Bradford City signing Dara Costaleo? I want to say is how you pronounce his name on a half season loan from Burnley. This looks like an absolutely unbelievable coup from Bradford City. Another loan that does now mean we do have six with the football club but obviously Josh and Essie doesn't really get involved in the match day squads and all that sort of stuff and I think he also had a trial at Ipswich the other day as well so it doesn't really matter all too much it just means now that it looking very likely Jaheim Headley won't be joining the club you know there's been lots of rumours over the last couple of days that he probably will be signing for Bradford City we all thought that there was going to be an announcement this Friday we all thought it was going to be Jaheim Headley left back obviously that would then mean we have three maybe ride outs leaving the club that's what was kind of presumed over social media this one's kind of come completely out of the blue to be honest with you no rumours or anything like that so I think this is a very very good signing for Bradford City he's also available for tomorrow's match against AFC Wimbledon I do want to apologise as well for this video being out a lot later than usual obviously this was this signing sorry it was announced at 5 o'clock I've been at 5 aside as I was literally about to set off for 5 aside the signing got announced so I do apologise about the late upload I think this will probably end up going out around 11 o'clock something like that so make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's match day vlog but don't forget to drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it. So Bradford City tweeted today at 5pm saying breaking news we are delighted to announce the signing of Burnley official forward Dara Costaleo on loan until the end of the season. No teaser video, there's been quite a while now since our last actual teaser for a signing but the article does then read it City capture Costaleo. If I am pronouncing his name wrong feel free to correct me down in the comment section down below. I think he's Irish as well so it might be pronounced a little bit different. I do apologise. Bradford City AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Burnley forward Dara Costaleo on on loan until the end of the season. The highly rated 20-year-old arrives at the University of Bradford Stadium, where he will spend the remainder of the 22-23 campaign, having made six first-team appearances for the Clarets this term. Now, how many times have we heard highly rated and a young player coming in on loan from a team in a higher division? If you think back, players like Roman Burrell, Austin Samuels, but this kid, I say kid, he's older than me, seems like an absolutely unbelievable signing. Born in Lemerick, Ireland, Costaleo began his career at Galway United, turning professional in 2018, before moving to Lancashire in February 2021. Able to play on either wing or as a striker, he signed a contract extension at Turf Moor in the summer of 2022, having ended up the 2021-22 campaign as Burnley's under-23 top goal scorer. Costaleo said, I am delighted to be here and cannot wait to get started. I am ready to go. I met the gaffer during the week and came and watched the game. That was obviously against Rochdale, certainly uh, not the best game for him to have watched. I was impressed by the style of the football he plays and I think I will learn a lot from him. Now, like I say, Tuesday probably wasn't the best to uh, analyse a game on, you know, especially the style of play. It was a, a really, really poor performance from us, to be honest with you. But at least it can't get any worse than that, or you would hope. You know, it is still Bradford City at the end of the day, despite how good we have been for the majority of this season. Back on to what he said then, the club is huge, and I was surprised by the amount of supporters at the game. The fan base is great here, and I'm looking forward to getting out there and playing in front of them on the pitch. I'm a hard worker and will run myself into the ground and get my fair share of goals as well. I want to help the club achieve promotion. City manager Mike Hughes said we are pleased to be welcoming Dara to the club as we continue to deepen our attacking options this month. We have beaten off competition from other sides across the division to secure Dara's signature and he's a player we have been monitoring for several weeks. He's tricky and versatile with a real eye for goal and he's very highly rated by his coaches at Burnley so we're excited to be to be working to begin sorry working with him. He has already sampled the atmosphere at Valley Parade having been in attendance for our recent home fixture and he's looking forward to getting out there and showing the Bradford City supporters what he can do. Costaleo will wear the number Number 33 in Claret and Amber with his signing subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. He comes straight into contention for tomorrow's trip to AFC Wimbledon. Now, with how highly rated he seems to be, it genuinely wouldn't surprise me if we start with maybe a front three of Costale on the right, Issa on the left, and probably Vidane Oliver down the middle. You maybe have Jamie Walker in the number 10 with Smallwood and Sutton or Ryan East. 
the team tomorrow could be very nice. Now, obviously, Burnley, they also tweeted at 5... Uh, originally, it was 5pm. They had to correct their tweet because they originally called us a Sky but League One club. As much as that would be absolutely fantastic, hopefully, Dara Costaleo can fire us into League uh, League One eventually. But obviously, at two minutes past five, Burnley tweeted saying, we can confirm that Dara Costaleo has joined Sky but League Two side Bradford City on loan until the end of the season. Good luck with the Bantams, Dara. No article or anything like that. So if you have a look at his career so far, then obviously, with him being 20, he's not really got too much to go for him to be honest with you but he started out his youth career then with Galway United from 2017 up to 2018 before joining their first team where he was there for two years where he scored zero goals in 16 appearances in 2021 he then joined Burnley where for their first team he scored zero goals in four appearances but if you have a look at his stats in a little bit more detail then Galway United for those who don't know are a team who play in the first division of Ireland but in terms of his statistics from this season in terms of his championship statistics anyway he's played four matches starting three of them averaging 52 minutes per game. Zero goals, uh, 0.8 shots per game, but he's yet to have a shot on target according to Sofa score. He's missed one big chance, but you've got to remember, these are games that are playing in the championship the championship is 10 times if not more the quality of a t of league two now i know burnley have been unbelievable so far this season so that is probably a reason as to why he has struggled to get into the the team week in week out obviously he started out playing the first couple of matches played against huddersfield played against luton town played against watford then didn't play for a little bit but was back in the team against shrewsbury in the afl cup played in the championship again against millwall where they got a 2-0 win there but hasn't featured for burnley in the championship since the end of august so it's probably for his own sake really that he is coming out out on loan. He averages 33.5 at touches per 90 with an 84% passing accuracy. 83% in his own half, 75% in the opposition half. 33% of his long balls are accurate and apparently he's not attempted any chip passes or crosses this season. In terms of his defensive statistics, he averages 0.0 interceptions per game, 0.3 tackles per game, 0.3 possession wins per game. He was dribbled past on one occasion per game as well with also 0.3 clearances coming per game as well. One error which led to a shot. He averaged one dribble per 90, 40 percent of them have been successful average 2.8 total joules per 90 winning 37% of them average 1.8 ground joules per 90 winning 32% of them averaging one aerial joule per 90 winning 50% I think winning 50% of your aerial joules is quite good for an attacking player I don't know specifically how tall he is 175 centimeters I don't think that's the tallest to be honest with you I don't really think that's I don't really know what that is in feet to be honest with you maybe like six foot something like that let me have a quick google um well he's just over 5.7 foot so quite a way away from six foot to be honest with you but he gives us a different option if Matt Darvish was only here really for his experience in the dressing room that does now leave us with four natural strikers obviously he can play on the wing I think he's mainly a, more of a right winger who cuts in on his left foot which is obviously something that we have needed because Scott Banks very injury prone Dion Pereira hasn't really been up for it this season and all our other wingers like Young, Issa, Nevers and probably missing someone as well Harry Chapman they're all mainly left wingers who cut in on their right foot so hopefully he comes to Bradford City and he does do very well it seems like Burnley fans rate him very highly which is obviously very good for us if you have a look at some of the comments from Burnley fans when been replying to Bradford City fans on all that sort of stuff one here says very very good mate yeah he's a good player started first few games for us think company wants him to get a little bit more experience very good played on the wing earlier in the season but can play in the middle there's certainly goals in him can definitely see him doing good in League 2 he looked all right in the championship League 2 should be a top talent so looks very good uh, some people asking if he's a striker or a winger I will be interested to see how Mark Hughes does play him if we go maybe back to a four. 2 three, one, play him on the right wing or we play um, the four diamond two like we've been playing recently and then he plays as like the second striker or maybe as a number 10 we'll just have to wait and see someone else here says you've got a good player Bradford good player look good in our early games this season enjoying Bantams he's going to absolutely cook at that level I have no doubt this guy will become a good striker just was too early for him for the first team right now go out get an experience and no doubt will be the better for it up the Clarets think he's much better than League 2 Bradford have got themselves a real coup on their hands here now there's obviously some replies about um that Burnley referring to us as a League One club. Fingers crossed he can fire us into League One. If he comes in and maybe gets four or five goals and gets six or seven assists, something like that, that's, you know, bearing in mind he plays every game. I think that'll be a very, very successful spell for him. Uh, we'll read a couple more comments as well. Started first few games for us this season, played decent, we'll smash it at League Two. Will be unreal in League Two. He's very good, shouldn't be playing in League Two, in my opinion. So clearly, Burnley fans rate him very highly. Fingers crossed he does leave up to the hype and he does very well for Bradford City. But anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and 80 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be absolutely class. 
subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on this signing as well down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on Bradford City signing Dara Costa Leo on a half season loan from Burnley? Once again, apologies about the late upload. I have been at Fiverr side and all that sort of stuff. You can actually check out my Fiverr side channel. The link is down in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching though. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow for the AFC Wimbledon away match day vlog where maybe Costa Leo might make his debut. Peace.